Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Lazy Cat Reactions, and we are starting Anne Rice's interview with the vampire. Now, if you have never been to my channel before, welcome. I'm very glad you are here. Uh, I react to various TV shows, movies, and trailer reacts. Please feel free to check out some of my other work. I've got some others that are kind of like supernatural and uh, horror and gothic and everything, including things like Nancy Drew and Chucky. Uh, I've got sci-fi with Doctor Who. Uh, I've got kind of family with Heartland and Walker. Um, and there's some other options in there as well. There's Midnight Mass, The Ex-Wife, uh, and Fantasy with House of the Dragon. So I have a good selection, I think. Um, but I'm happy that you are here for Interview with the Vampire. <sighs> I don't know that much about Anne Rice. So anything I get wrong, please let me know down in the comments. I have never read her book. I did see the 1994 film with Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. I remember the controversy with Brad Pitt as Lestat. And personally, I thought he did fine. I had no problem with him portraying Lestat. I liked the movie, you know? Like I said, I remember the controversy, but I liked it. So that's really all I know. I've seen Queen of the Damned. I think that was just kind of in passing or whatnot. But yeah, I really don't know a lot of Anne Rice's work. So I am looking forward to this. I did have a coworker say that they have done something different with Claudia in this, that Claudia is a teenager and not a little girl. And she didn't like that because she is a big Anne Rice fan. And she commented about how one thing it, with Claudia is that she basically became, you know, kind of like grew up an adult but is stuck in a child's body and having to deal with that. And yeah, I can see that being a bit of trauma, you know, like you're a hundred year old vampire in the body of a 12 year old. Yeah, that's gonna kind of suck, to be honest. Uh, but in this, they made, it, made her a teenager. Now again, I have not read the books, so I don't know if Claudia as a child is correct or if Claudia as a teenager is correct. I would find out. And I've also seen something that talked a little more about kind of the, uh, the homosexuality aspect. Um, that they kind of hinted about it in the first interview with the vampire with the, uh, the Cruise movie. And I don't remember that, but then it has been a long time since I saw that. So it sounds like with this, they're kind of going to bring that out more, kind of more of this homosexual elements. Um, so we're going to have like Lestat and Louis, like getting it on and then Armand and those guys. Uh, and you know, come, come to think of it when I kind of go back and review like old clips from the nineties movie, I can kind of see it now, but back then, of course, things were a little more subtle. They're not as flagrant as they are now. So... It'll be interesting to see how they do this. And like I said, I don't really know Anne Rice, so I apologize for anything that I will get wrong. Let me know down in the comments. But I am excited to start this. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for being here and joining me for the first episode of Interview with the Vampire. It is titled, In Throes of Increasing Wonder. Louis meets the vampire Lestat in 1910, New Orleans. One other thing I will say about this is that it's going to be obviously a period piece. At least part of it will be a period piece. There might be some that's modern. And I like period pieces, you know? At the time of this recording, I'm also filming House of the Dragon. And that, of course, is set in the year 101. And I had been commenting about the costumes in that. Like, they're just gorgeous. So with this, I really think I'm going to enjoy watching the costumes too and the cinematography because I bet they've got some beautiful shots but anyways let's get started 
Slater character? I mean, it makes sense since it's interviewed, but. And it's gonna burn. If I'm a little nervous, truth and reconciliation. Okay, we're, is this Jacob Anderson, the guy who plays Louis? Because I, I, I like the him. questions you answer. Anything that can't be verified, I said to my researcher. You were a pimp. The product was <laughs> desire. And it came in as many forms as there were ways to move. Like how he figured it out right there. On the industry, efficiency and reputation. Mr. Billat. Fish. I like a suit. Fat fucking rolls of yours. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. I was only trying to show you my love. Fuck you. Okay. Come and hit me. Hold on, honey. Now a minute ago, I was in love. I do like that suit. That is an awesome suit. Get off it, goddamn bricks. He stuck it in my shit box. I didn't know such thing. Gave him a chance to pull up and kept on fucking. So I gave him a little squirt amount of catfish dinner for going there. Don't believe me? Check his dick. Who the fuck you talking to? I ain't checking no man's dick. Hello. So we're gonna fish that Johnson. I'm on that too. That's old King's Jesus. <laughs> really? Get your hands off me, nigga. Oh, his brother. Oh. <laughs> You do that to your own brother? Damn. Did I want to pull a knife on my brother? You never knew who was watching. What's that? I like how they set that up so now you know who it is. Who would disrupt your mother's business in a Louis and Paul. Let's not fuss on the particulars. Sister of Mrs. Mornings with my family followed a pattern that year. No. My dream of what a quiet breakfast might look like. You may believe it's bad. There's no respect for the Holy Mother. Paul. He's going to make your daughter jump the pool. I'm sitting right here. Lady of Booms down the street at the main desk. It's just all people. He's calling me a witch, my mom. Bob will you like you walk that way. Well, it's a brother. They do that. Yeah. Take it seriously. Your brother sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> Fragile, stubborn, indulged. I promised our father on his deathbed to look after him. But when Paul's mind was right, he was no burden. What I get the feeling is going to end up him killing Paul at some point. And our daily stroll to St. Augustine was the measure of. I want Father Matthias. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to confess to anyhow. Wasted a good man's time. Be right there, Paul. I haven't seen you. Okay. <laughs> it's fair place, Lou. Uh, Louie, Miss Carol, is they work the night? Miss Carol. It was a palace of opulence and splendor. Visiting from other southern states. Taking money to me. That's a good point. You can't see the dirt from the dollars falling. 
gave on Friday, give they from free, Lord. And doing this day is a candle. Yeah, I, I really like this man. He's got great presence, great personality. I swear I've seen him in something else too, so I'll have to look up his Oh. Yeah, I don't think she's done yet. Huh? I keep throwing money out. Hey, why you been this here since you? Just get my friends everything else. All right, now let's show our dicks and show which one is bigger. I had come there for Lily, but I left thinking of only him. Yeah, you know, he's talking about the the gaze of the vampire, and that, yeah, that makes me think, you know, like with Twilight or other vampire stories or lore, obviously that's something that's been a part of it is, you know, the whole thing with, with the gaze, you know, it's the gaze that causes, you know, you can't like look away and it kind of like immobilizes you. you know what I mean? Yeah. I swear I've seen that actor before and like, I really like him. He's got personality. I mean, he's just like coming across on the screen, just kind of bleeding through his personality and stuff. I really like him. So I'm going to have to look him up. Can't say too much yet because, you know, we're only about 23 minutes into the episode. Um, so yeah, you know, I can't, can't say too much about it, but so far it seems good. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm going back. I should have probably rewatched the movie before I started this, but to be honest, I've been holding on to these episodes for a few months now so I was finally just like you know what let's just start it and get it done <laughs> and I'm considering after this about maybe reacting to the Netflix Dracula which had like three episodes so apparently it must be on like a little bit of a vampire thing or something or maybe I'll be all satiated by the time I finish this I don't know but it's kind of funny let's keep going Pulling down the, what would it be, the, the wick? Pulling down the wick and the flame. Kind of wish they still had, kind of wish they still had lights like that. They're up. I was going to say, I bet that's happened before. He doesn't seem like, like he's that concerned. It's probably happened before where it goes back on. Except not now, but. Now. Bye bye. I'm say you're about to be eaten on. Shut your damn mouth. Yeah, how about you shut up? <laughs> That's all right, Louis, madame. But... Can you tell us all again how he won by Joy Johnson? And the nails. The nails are kind of long, you know, like the way a vampire would be. Yeah, I noticed he was doing the, the stare. 
And obviously, Louis knows something about the stair because he was telling him to stop, which kind of makes you wonder about that. But, yeah, he makes uh, <laughs> a good point. There's like an ocean. And I'm thinking, yeah, that would kind of happen, you know, especially after experiencing something like that. No. He, I liked Louis' comment. He says, I was being hunted and I didn't know it. And I was like, is it really hunted when you're going to be turned, though? I mean, in a way, kind of, I guess, but in a way, kind of not. Do myself, man. What if there's a guy speaks to him through words in his head? How do you think it him? The liberty of this sort of power of his shit. You did good getting off that boat when you did. St. Louis has done his dish water. Yes, I feel quite at home here. Uh-huh. The woman he wanted. So interesting with that. Like I said, when he started kissing Lestat, I was like, okay, so is that Lestat's power? Because, you know, Lestat has that ability to do that. Uh, or was that Louis acting of his own free will? But like I said, it's kind of find it. And I just realized they're all L's. Lestat, Louis, Lily. Um, you know, he kind of put her to sleep because he was more interested in the guy in that sense and not the woman. Look at my baby back here. Hanging over the edge. <laughs> Um, so, very interesting on that, like, hmm, I gotta get it on. And then, you know, obviously when Louis wakes up, he's going to be, if he's not completely changed, he's going to be in the process of changing. But we're not here for me, are we? True. When you were using drugs, Mr. Malloy, do you remember the best you ever had? I had never allowed myself to feel emotionally close to anyone, mm -hmm. much less a man. Now, of course, he's kind of I had no changing that. feelings like these in my life. Huh. His dad has other plans. <laughs> Still that. The fuck? We are missing my father today. He's supposed to dance over to stop the lineup. Mm -hmm. Trying not to cry now. Seems like such a pretty way. Best way to honor daddy? We make my brothers do the work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Half of y'all don't know this, but these no good boys used to shuffle for pennies on Sunday. Call <laughs> themselves the A B C D E F G. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now Paul do it too. A shoes is fine, but the feet that's bad. <laughs> hey, what kind of rhythm do you want, Paul? Play it loud so they can't hear our feet. Play it loud so they can't hear our feet. Alright, I get the feeling the stats gonna show up. That's awesome. And see, Paul's actually having fun. Yeah, he's actually having fun. <laughs> Maybe they should. Maybe they should go on tour. Popping off the legs. Three blue in. Dirty rice. Beans. Green beans. Five. Six wines. 
Romantic love, platonic love, familial love. You usually tell them, you know, I love you, so that they know. I wrote um, a fan fiction years ago, Twilight, and it was uh, Arthurian legend, so it was like Twilight in Camelot, basically. And uh, I put some pairing and non-pairing, non-paired characters together, and one of them dies. I'm not going to say who it is, no spoilers, just at the off chance someone might want to read it. I doubt it, but just at the off chance you do, um, one of the characters dies, the main characters, and he tells, you know, the, the woman he loves is with him, and he tells her. He loves her, which she knew that he cared about her before, but that was, you know, the time. And she was like the only one that he loved. Uh, and I made a point of waiting for him to actually say it for that, because of course, that's the end, you know, he's, I mean, after that, he like, I think kissed her once more and then died. Um, Again, I'm not saying any more than that, just at the off chance, but that I think can be pretty common. And so when he said it, I was a little suspicious, and then it's just like, why did you just do that? Why did you just go and walk off and do that? His brother doesn't seem like the type who would, you know? Easy prey is a fatty predator. The governor was pies. And then he didn't come home. Would you tell me where you were? What? I was going to say, what if he just wanted to say he was sorry? Your surrender proved herself a poor substitute. I don't take kindly to my brother's funeral. Believe me, I want to tell you, your brother longed for that flag stone. What was I saying? I got it, boss. He won't help. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Lestat's ambush. I mean, Lestat, yeah, bad timing. You could have waited. The was given, I could not hear. At least the sister seems to be cool about it. The sister understands. Yeah, probably a good idea. Two weeks ago, police found her under the docks. Said she contracted the fever that's been going around. Did she? Dried up inside her. Yeah. But then any warfare boys they his words. Help me! Very, uh -oh. very good acting. Safety. Yeah. 
taking up running. That was some very good acting. I liked that, you know. I felt bad for him, though, as he was saying. When he failed his brother, it's like, how'd you fail him? He jumped off the roof. How is that you failing him? Now, obviously, all of his insecurities and doubts and everything are are coming out, which is too bad, you know? Um, and he said, I laid down with the man, I laid down with the devil. And I'm wondering if the priest is going to see it literally as I laid down with the man, or if that is kind of like an expression, and he's going to think it's an expression that he was using saying I laid down with the devil you know I let him because I let him in never know you know the religious type they might say we're gonna see it as this Back. Jeez. what the hell was the point of the priest I'm not doing good. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, I'm not here. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Ah. Let him go. No, let him go. No, let him go. The stat, you shit, let him go. <laughs> Poor guy, he just walked in the wrong time. Oh. His eyes look so red. Right from the wall. I love you. That's what they do, and then that they like cut their wrists, and that's what they did in Midnight Mass. You know, the angel cut his wrist and then had to drink from it. How do you know when to stop? Yeah. Enormous creature are coming through a dark and alien forest. A huge drop. So how long does he drink before he has to stop? He drank a lot. What happened if he drained the vampire? I opened my eyes. It was then that I realized Blue. the trouble was my heart. He's not there for some time. That's a quick transition. It throws an increasing wonder. So that was a really good start to this series, saga. At the time of recording, I don't know if there was a season two announced or if it was just supposed to be a one-off. Uh, so I'm not sure about that. But yeah, that was really good. That Jacob Anderson is phenomenal. I swear I've seen him in something else, so I'm gonna have to go look it up. But, yeah, so it, it was the end. I kind of had a feeling that it would be the end of the first episode where he would get changed, where he would be trans transitioned. Because since the description of this episode was meeting Lestat, I was like, well, I mean, I guess it could have been meeting Lestat, and then at the end of the second episode it would happen. But, and yeah, it makes you wonder with Lestat, you know, when he was saying, like, I love you and everything. It's like, does he really, or is he just using these words and sweet talking to get what he wants? Because that's what vampires do, you know? They, they know how to control people. That earrings, they're not giving me a problem until now. I'm going to go take them off. <laughs> it's like I probably shouldn't have
have worn them with a turtleneck, but I felt it would be fine. It was fine earlier in the day, so why it's not now? I don't know. But for those of you who are Anne Rice fans, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the first episode. No spoilers. Let's just keep comments to, you know, what episode. Obviously, when we get to episode two, you can talk about one and two. Um, but for this one, yeah, let's just talk about one. And obviously, we know Claudia's coming, so it sounds like she's going to be part of family or whatnot. But now I'm getting curious. Does he eat the baby? My guess is no. Now, you saw him laugh, and I was like, well, that could be a clip from something else. You know, sometimes in these trailers, they make it look like they're talking to someone when they're talking to someone else. So we'll see. My guess is no, he didn't eat the baby. I'm guessing that's going to be his little niece or nephew. But I hope they explain why the brother did that, why Paul just walked off the roof, because that was very uncharacteristic. <sighs> Thank you for joining me for the first episode of Anne Rice's Interview with the Vampire. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And if you are watching this on YouTube, I'm sure this is the edited version to get past the censors. So head over to my page on Rumble, link is in the description, and you can catch the full untrimmed version of this video. I'm hoping that this video will end up being roughly about like 30 minutes or so, but I'm sure I'll still have to trim some down to get it past YouTube. And if somehow you're watching this on Rumble and you're curious to see what I had to trim down to get past the sensors, jump over there. So just kind of jump from one platform to another, you know, it's fun. Yay! <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and TikTok of the same name, Liz Cat Reactions. Stick around for episode two. That's going to be coming up next down the pipeline if you can. Um, check out some of my other reactions. Shout out to my editor. Link is in the description. Check her out for your editing needs. And yeah, I thank you for joining me. I mean, so far we're off to a good start. Six episodes to go. And there's going to be a lot. You know, I was thinking with that trailer that they were showing a lot of stuff for there only being like a total of six episodes to go. But that probably doesn't even scratch the surface of everything we're going to see in these next six episodes. So.